welcome. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I'm Paige, an event manager at SoFi, and I'm excited to introduce today's speaker, Brian Walsh. He's a certified financial planner and a senior manager of financial planning at SoFi. Welcome, Brian. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Today we're going to be talking all about student loan refinancing. So Brian, can you give us a high level overview? What is student loan refinancing? Yeah, so Paige, at a high level, student loan refinancing is when you take out a new student loan with a private lender, let's say for example, SoFi, and essentially you use that loan to pay off your existing student loans. You can refinance one student loan at a time, you can refinance multiple student loans at a time. You could essentially mix and match to find the ideal scenario that's gonna help you best pay down your student loan debt. Great, that's super helpful, Brian. Now that we understand what student loan refinancing is, why would someone want to refinance their student loans? Yeah, at a high level, there's gonna be two primary reasons that we see people wanting to refinance their student loans. The first reason would be to minimize the amount of money they pay right now. So an example of this would be they could potentially refinance their student loan and stretch out that repayment term so that way it lowers their monthly payments right now. Like let's say cash flow is a little bit tight or things along those lines, that would allow you to free up some room in your budget. The second reason that we see people refinance their student loans is to minimize the amount of pay they pay over the lifetime of their loan. So essentially they could refinance their student loan and repay it over a shorter period of time or even lower their interest rate so that way they're paying less interest over the life of the loan and it's going to save them money over the long term even though they may have a slightly higher payment right now. That's really helpful. Thank you, Brian. And so not all loans are created equal. Can you break down the difference between federal loans and private loans? Yeah, great question. So at a high level, federal student loans are going to be loans that are taken from the federal government. Private student loans are going to be student loans that are taken from private lenders. So when you think about federal student loans, uh, those are going to be taken from the government and they're going to have different benefits compared to private student loans. One of those benefits could be some sort of income driven repayment plan that could help people as they're determining how to repay their student loans and fit it in their budget. Another option would be potential student loan forgiveness through existing programs. And then more recently, the suspension of payments and interest in response to the COVID pandemic. Private student loans, on the other hand, don't come with those federal benefits. But many times, if you're exploring private student loan options, you could potentially get a lower interest rate if you qualify for that, because it's actually going to be underwritten based on your income, education, credit score, things like that. So both have pros and cons and both are gonna be used to fund an education and then also as re you're repaying your student loans. Very helpful, thank you. Is there an ideal time for someone to refinance their student loans? Yeah, so I guess this goes back to the difference between federal student loans and private student loans. When it comes to private student loans, if you can lower your interest rate, I think it could potentially be a good time to look at exploring refinancing your private student loans. Federal student loans, it becomes a little bit more complicated because you'll want to consider not only the interest rate and what your payment would be, but then also looking at how much you value those federal benefits that we talked about that come with federal student loans. Thank you, Brian. So are there any potential downsides people should be aware of when they're considering refinancing from a federal loan to a private loan? Yeah, there's definitely some downsides to consider, and I think that's why it's important to weigh the pros and the cons so you can make an educated and informed decision. So some potential downsides when you refinance a federal student loan is those federal benefits go away because essentially you're taking out a new private student loan that's going to be paying off that federal student loan. So income driven repayment, potential loan forgiveness programs, those types of things go away. So if you find those things valuable, then you may want to consider keeping those federal student loans. On the flip side, if you don't find those things valuable and you have an opportunity to lower your payment or lower your interest rate, then it could be valuable for you to refinance that federal student loan. Thanks. Okay, last question for you here, Brian, and we get this one a lot. With legislation constantly changing, should you consider not refinancing your federal student loans in the case we have some things like CARES Act come up again? 
Yeah, this is a question that we get all the time, and I never claim to make predictions when it comes to public policy or politics or anything like that. The simple fact is we've heard a lot in the news, on the campaign trail, whatever it may be related to loan forgiveness. And up until this point, it's been very targeted loan forgiveness and broad loan forgiveness related to student loans is not on the path forward that we're seeing. I think what we can do is, and what we're encouraging our members to do, is make decisions based on the facts that we have on the ground. So again, go back and evaluate, hey, do I find these federal benefits helpful? And are they important to me? If they are, then it might be a good idea to keep those federal student loans. If not, it might be a good idea to refinance those student loans because broad loan forgiveness is something that's been discussed, but there's no clear and concise next steps from either party or the federal government. Awesome. As usual, Brian, this has been incredibly helpful. SoFi members, thank you so much for watching today. We look forward to seeing you guys at another financial fireside chat soon. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, thanks for having me.